Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm covering a crazy theory that's more for fun than anything else. And that theory is that Zane the Operative, who is one of the new Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3, is actually Jack's doppelganger Timothy Lawrence from Borderlands the pre-sequel. I know it's crazy, but we'll break it all down. The theory comes from Votives on Twitter, so I will link the original post down below if you guys want to check that out. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at HaterHype, and with that, let's get right into it. So, first thing I know you guys are already typing down below is saying that we already killed Jack's doppelganger in Borderlands 2 in the mission The Man Who Would Be Jack. Okay, and this has been proven to not be Jack's doppelganger multiple times. The first biggest piece of evidence is that once the pocket watch is removed from that fake Jack in Opportunity, the body becomes a normal Hyperion engineer. So the power to change the voice and change the look all comes from the pocket watch itself, which is how it gives our Vault Hunters Jack's voice and able to access Bunker, while Timothy actually got surgery to look and sound like Jack before the events of Borderlands the pre-sequel. He explains it in an echo log saying that he underwent surgery and that it was very painful and not the same as just cloaking himself. On top of that, we know that Jack had multiple body doubles and people do take his place in case any of them were killed and to prevent all the enemies he had from finding him. So with that out of the way, let's get in to how Zane could be Timothy Lawrence. So we haven't heard anything about Timothy Lawrence since the events of the pre-sequel, and we don't really know too much about Zane the Operative either. It was shown that at least part of Zane's action skill would be to summon a clone hologram of himself, Someone else who had this exact same power was Jack's doppelganger in the pre-sequel, and his skill was called Expendable Assets. It would summon a blue Digistruct clone of Jack, or Timothy, to fight alongside him. And from what we see in the Borderlands 3 trailer, Zane also summons a blue Digistruct hologram of himself, and the similarities don't stop there. If we go to his eye, we see Zane has a futuristic patch over his left eye. Assuming that Timothy Lawrence still worked for Jack after the events of the pre-sequel, he would have to match Jack after he got hit at the end of the pre-sequel by the vault that got smashed into his face, and that's actually how Jack lost his eye and had that big vault symbol over his face. So if Timothy did still have to match Jack down to everything, he probably would have lost his left eye as well. And moving forward, it is possible that because he lost it, there's no way to fix it. So if he is Zane, he could just be wearing the eye patch, covering it up, trying to hide it. But then we get into the face. If Timothy did work for Jack after the pre-sequel, he could have that big vault symbol burnt into his face. And Zane doesn't look anything like Timothy. There's no vault symbol. Zane looks a little older. He has the white hair. But this could also be explained. After the fall of Hyperion and Jack, Timothy would be a dead man if he continued to keep Handsome Jack's face and voice. If he was able to get surgery to look like Jack, I'm sure he'd be able to get a new identity, new plastic surgery. We could even go further saying it's possible they were able to fix his skin and get that burnt vault symbol out, but were unable to do anything about his eye, which is why he would still have the eye patch. He could have dyed his hair to white instead of brown and just distance himself as much as he could from Jack and Hyperion. On top of all those similarities, Timothy and Zane both have ports behind their left eyes, which is not a super common trait in the Borderlands series. They both wear a glove with the index finger cut out, but both their gloves are on different hands. Timothy wears the glove on the right hand while Zane wears his on the left, but they also both keep a holster on their right leg. But I'll be the first to acknowledge there are some problems with this theory. The leaked concept art for Zane made him look very old and a lot older than how he does in game. And they did tone this back for the version that we saw, but there's only so much room for age changes. If Gearbox planned for him to be an old man, it's one thing to change the story a little bit to accommodate that. If Zane is Timothy Lawrence, a very old man to begin with, it just doesn't really make sense. This game is only five years after the events of Borderlands 2, and if Timothy looked like Handsome Jack in Borderlands 2, he would not be as old as Zane most likely is. On top of that, it would be wild if Gearbox did actually make Timothy Lawrence Zane the operative. Most of the backstory for Vault Hunters is just explained through echologues in-game, and that would be a lot of ground to cover in echo logs, and I could see some casual fans getting confused. So my personal opinion, do I think Zane is actually Timothy? No. Would I be mad if Zane was Timothy? Of course not. I think it would actually be really cool and a nice callback to fans that have been around for a while. 
What I do think is that there are a lot of similarities. And I forgot about Timothy after watching all the trailers as a possible returning character in this game. So Gearbox better bring him back. And I think there are a lot of interesting ways for Gearbox to approach that. If he comes back still looking like Jack. If he comes back with a new identity. If he is actually Zane. A lot of cool aspects Gearbox can play around with. Huge thanks again to Votives for the theory. Like and share this video, subscribe for future Borderlands content, and I will see you guys in the next one.